Hi guys, welcome to frame 26, Snooker's Bird and Trophy, Series 6. That was a nice break there from Mark. Is it frame 26? Apologies if it's frame 25, I think it's frame 26. Anyway, current scores are 14 11. So, yeah, this is frame 26. Penny just dropped. Well, this is a tempting opening red. Will I play a safety? Wow. I've totally changed my strategy. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying watching myself play in the right shot. Um, so, yeah, anyway. In this session, it's one frame apiece. This is the third frame of the current session. Yeah. Scores are getting a bit closer, so can I close the gap? Or can Mark step one step closer to the trophy? Oh, that's possibly a mistake. And unfortunately for Mark, that red, both of those reds, the bottom two of the pack, don't go. But the red to the right middle does. If you're enjoying the series so far, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really does help us grow. And that was unfortunate. Mark's trying to get the cue ball around the houses there. And yeah, it does help us grow. So, you know, thanks for all the support so far. And a safety shot with a pot possibility. Shot to nothing. Safety in mind. Call it what you will. Black is pretty safe at the minute, so pink's not very potable. In fact, I don't think it goes in either middle pocket. Another safety shot there from Mark. It's just not had enough legs. This could be... Would I try and pot this and play for the black or use the natural angle to get the cue ball back up towards the blue? Yeah, the latter. Just overhit that one a little bit. But blue's still on with a good angle to just roll it in. And the white should run down the table. And I should be on one of these loose reds. That's a nice weighted shot. And it's actually not rolled enough. Ah, uh, well. Now, Mark was just explaining to me that that was the red that he was going for. He couldn't quite get through the gap. But the red below it, the one in the middle of those three, dare I say, passes. I can just see enough of the pocket. Got to use the old uh, squint eye technique. Anyway, I, couldn't, I can play this shot with plenty of screw back. And if it goes in, happy days. If it doesn't, I should leave the white safe. Although if it doesn't go in, who knows where the red's going to end up. Maybe it'll end up in the pocket. <laughs> oh, sorry, not sorry. Well, pink doesn't pass the red, so one of my favourite blue shots. Coming up, hopefully. Get this one in, and I've over hit that one as well. I mean, on a faster cloth, I, you know, the cue ball would have bounced off the bottom cushion, and I dare say would have been at a better angle for the next red. And I did take that one on. It was a bit ambitious. I had to hit it hard to get it away from the pocket. Had I missed, but look, it's definitely going to be potted here. Well, Mark's given himself angle on the blue. If he can pot this, stay on the red. Where's the white going? Miles away. Well, that's a nice weighted shot. A little bit unfortunate to be close to the cushion. Let's see. Oh, he's just unfortunate there. Miss hit it. But he's left me a little chance. If I can pot this red, which, you know, I have missed shots like this before. But I just need to roll this red in and there's no pressure on the black whatsoever because if I miss the black, uh, you know, the next red isn't easy. But I do remember thinking, well, let's just try and get the white out. 
if I can pot this and get the white out, give myself half a chance of potting another red. And I managed to get it out a little bit, but not enough. So I've taken on this silly plan into the middle pocket, which, I mean, I wouldn't be saying it was silly if it went in, but look at this. I, you know, when you talk about shot selection, that probably wasn't the right shot to take. And yeah, that's the consequences of poor shot selection. I've given Mark a lovely chance. And the cue board's died a bit there. But if this red can go in, nice. Oh, a little kiss on the green and the green's just rolled too far to pot it. So Mark's gonna try and, cool, that was just right. I thought it was gonna be too slow. Anyway, it's a good snooker. There is a bunch to aim for, so I'm gonna try and clip off a, a bottom red, but I just, got my angles a tiny bit out in fact I did put some side on that maybe it was too much and again a good snooker from Mark has led him to be in this position now which you know he's created this chance and I fell for it next red what do you think left middle Hmm, there is a plant actually. Mark spotted a three ball plant. Will it go in? Oh, no, it was close. Well, it was, it was 100% set. But has he got away with it? Well, this red does go to right middle, obviously. But I just need to check the angle because cube will be in close. I just wanted to make sure. Because if I do miss this, I could be again leaving Mark a nice chance. So. I wanted to make sure I got the white out of the way of the reds to leave myself a blue. And in fact, it's a lovely angle to get back down amongst these reds. And there's one, two, three, four to choose from. Initially, I looked at the middle of those three and I thought, no, I'm going to go for the top red because that should get me onto the black. So a little bit straighter than I'd like. So I'm gonna try and create some angle. And I need this ball to go, to roll. Nah, it's just slowed right up. It does cut, but not an easy cut in. I should be going for the red closest to the cue ball, surely. Or well, doesn't that pass the, I don't think it passed the black. So I went for that ambitious red. And, wow. Mark didn't fancy putting one of those reds there then. But he's gone for a nice safety shot and he's got a good cue ball there because I can't really, there is a bit of a shot on. Does this red go? Dare I say I'll take it on. I did take it on with safety in mind. I was a little bit out really, but the safety's good. It's almost a snooker. I think it is actually. Well, if Mark can just clip this red. No, he's hit the yellow. Well, a bit of an unforced error maybe, but my chance to cut this red in it is a fine cut. Obviously the cue ball is going to be sent up the table, but look where it's going. Oh wow, there's always at least one from myself. Let that, let's hope that's the last in this frame. Well, scores are pretty even, only six points in it. Am I gonna take this pot on, try and stay on the black? I think I am. No. No, wasn't far out, but needed to be a lot closer anyway. How's Mark? Is Mark going to take this top red on into the yellow pocket? Well, hasn't left anything on, so it's going to have to be a little bit of safety play here. Yeah, Trying to get a nice white. Well, that's fine. I mean, the top right pocket is covered with the green, so Mark opting for safety. 
Oh, almost went into the middle pocket. Now, looking at this angle, I looked. It does pass the blue. Maybe that was a silly choice because look at where this yeah, red's landed now. Lovely opportunity for Mr. Harris. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow. Well, just needed to roll just a tiny bit more, maybe half a ball. But that's a good snooker. Now, trying to play the reds at this angle gives me more options. And yeah, the red I was playing for was the one next to the blue. But because I took that angle, I knew that if I missed, I'd be more likely going to hit another red. So play the percentages. Oh, come on. And I got away with that one, I think. I did leave it very potable. Usually I take this on as a pot, so I wonder if I'll play a safety shot here. Gone for the safety. Wow, wow, wow. It's a changed man. Unless Mark can pull off a wonder pot now. Wow, wow, that was close. The brown nearly rolled in towards the middle bag. Again, would I be going for this? No, safety. Trying to get the white behind the black. But it's behind the pink. So, I think Mark might be able to just see this red. Yep. And now he's left me a chance. There's three reds to choose from. The middle red gives me a nice angle to get onto the blue or even the pink. That's a nice shot. Oh, just clips that red, which now means the white and the blue is so straight to the pocket. I try to put loads aside on this, and having done that, I, I completely missed. Couldn't believe it. But that's my mistake for trying to force the white into a direction that it wasn't naturally going to go. And Mark's. Got away with that one, I think. Oh, I would have taken that on if it hadn't rested on the pink. But anyway, this red does go into the green pocket. So I remember trying to pot that and stay on the yellow. But um, I hit the yellow out of the way. Now, this brown isn't an easy shot to take on. And I knew as soon as I hit it, my cue was all over the place. Well, it's still quite a close frame. Green's now in a more potable position. Red's safe. And the blue and the black are prime location for a snooker. Or oh, I try to get in the middle of them. I need this red to speed up. Wow, that was lucky. Can Mark send the cue ball towards the green or behind the green, perhaps? It's looking good. Well, if I'd tried that, I'm, I'm pretty sure the white would have gone in. So that's a nice shot from Mark. Now I've got a nice angle to just let the cue ball run through and try and get in behind the blue. It just died a bit then onto the cushion, but. I've got the snooker. Mark's going to try and bend it. And. Oh, it's, it was close. Four's up, mate. Thanks, mate. Now, this red does pass the green into the green pocket. So, I did attempt to pot this, which is probably the wrong shot to take on. And having done that and missed. It's still potable. It's not an easy pot, but if Mark can just clip the red on the left, yeah, that's a nice pot. And what's he going to choose here? Well, yellow is going to be difficult to get onto. Mark's going for the pink. And that's a nice shot on the pink. Well done. What's going to be next? Double? No, trying to get a snooker and just about see yeah. through the gap. There's always a gap. Well, 
Well, this yellow needs to run. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I went for the pot there because, yeah, I played for the green look. And this is now a lovely opportunity. But it's not an easy shot because I'm on the cushion and it's really straight. So, yeah, I was always going to be miss... I just miss cued it. I, well, not miss cued it, I just cued it terribly. Now, now I'm thinking, well... Well, that was almost as bad as my blue miss into the middle pocket, so... Unfortunately, for me, it's not in a probable position. I can play... I try to play behind the green, but what I've done is left mark a lovely chance. If this goes in, I'll be gutted. Oh, it was in and out. Almost a snooker. Well, the yellow does pass the green, so maybe not the right shot choice, but I am going to take it on. Wow, wow, wow. Just about got away with that. Lucky boy. Where's this going to go? Slow down. Yeah, Mark done well to get that out. There's another chance here to try and play the, the white behind the black and pink. Shot, mate. And I've played that quite nice, Keep exactly going. how I planned it. I'll stay where I am, okay? Blame this. If Mark can get close to this. Wow, it's, it's close. It's going to be a fucking seven, isn't it? It's close, mate, but unfortunately it's a, it's a, it's a miss. Not a miss. We're not going to play a miss rule on that because... It was closer than six inches. That's our little rule. But it was a foul. And that's a nice yellow. Shame I couldn't get a better angle on this green, but um, the brown's always going to be difficult to get onto. But I did look at the brown. I thought, well, I might be able to get the brown into the middle pocket if I can get the cue ball there. But the cue ball just really ran nice a bit shot. too far. And I didn't fancy it because I just couldn't see enough of that pocket. So I've gone, I'm going for the top right pocket here. And if I get it in, I don't want to snooker myself, no, but yourself, it didn't go. And I did snooker myself. So, yourself. you know, it's one of them. Was it better off going in or not? Well, it's landed over the pocket and Mark, rightly so, puts it in. So yeah, six, seven, eight, nine points in it. It's still anyone's frame. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Snookered behind the pink. Looked at a few different angles. and This has got to be the way to go. And I, hit, I hit it so fast, Mark, and I couldn't decide if it was a miss or not. It was very close. In fact, I did screenshot it and sent it to him. And we both agreed. Well, our little agreement is if, if we can't decide, if it's that close that we were unsure, then we have to give um, the person who took the shot, you know, what's the word? We have to give, I can't think of the word. Anyway, we didn't, didn't call a miss, but it was a foul. Well, that was a shot to... It was, a, it was basically for a pot, but I knew that if I missed, I'd play it, it would be safe. But that was a lovely angle for the pink. Oh, a little double kiss there. It's done Mark well, actually. Now, I just want to make sure I don't leave the blue over a pocket. So I was checking out the angles. I need this to slow down. Slow down. Well... I've seen Mark pot these a thousand times before. If he does, fair play to him. If he does pot this, he'll be in the lead. Ooh, that was close. Well, this is my chance now. I'm looking at middle pocket and I'm thinking, no, that's not the shot because the white is going to roll off towards the green spot. Mm -hmm. If I want to be able to win this frame and pot the blue and pink, I need to pot this into the top left pocket. So a little bit of a pressure shot. 
but one of my favourites. Yeah, get in. And it's, it's still not over. I do need the pink. And I, you know, I've missed a, a, I've missed a hundred of these types of shots, but not today. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That makes the scores fourteen twelve. We'll see you in the next frame.